Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Jasmine here, Girl Thrifted. I'm going to show us how I would style pattern pants five different ways. Now, if you know me, you know I love a pattern clash. I love to mix patterns. I don't do it all the time, but when I do do it, it's really fun. So today I want to do a lot of that, show you how I would wear a plaid. I guess this is like a grid pattern. These grid Madewell pants uh, that I have that I love and I want to wear through the spring and think about how many different ways I would wear them. This first look is with this t-shirt that is not really pattern clashing, but it's a first good example. Let's see what's next. Okay, this is my first go. This is a floral sweater that is made well. I got all of this on Poshmark basically, except for I thrifted the shoes and I bought these socks new. Um, this is an easy kind of foray into pattern clashing, if you ask me, but I love it. I think it's really cute. Um, the colors aren't totally the same, but the pink kind of brings out the red and these, if you can see your primary colors these, in these pants. So I think it goes really well. What's next? Okay, so I've worn this blouse many times before. This is a floral Dowin blouse that goes really well with the grid of the pants, I think. Very complimentary color palette, pop of socks and clogs at the bottom. I feel very cute and ready for spring. Not spring yet, but it's actually really cloudy and rainy here today. Um, but I'm still into the spring, spring colors. Okay, look at what I just thought of. I was just wearing that dough and blouse with the pants and these clogs and socks. And I just thought maybe I could throw on my sweater for an, a little extra layer of warmth and it all looks cute. You can wear your clothes so many different ways together. Just gotta think about it. All right, to totally change it up, I put on black boots, black sweater with polka dots on it, mixing and matching these grid pants with polka dots. What do you think? I think this is like a fun nighttime outfit I could wear if I was going out at night. It's kind of warm too, so it sort of balances the light colors of the pants with the black. I'm in. If I told you how comfortable these shoes are, best investment in a while. They're just made well, but I got them used and I'll talk about them more at some point. Love them. That's right, this collar. I am going to milk this collar trend as long as I can because I just, I love a big collar so much. And I think I mentioned before in another video that I was trying to make this particular collar be seasonless, work outside of winter because it's green and red. And sometimes in my brain, I'm like, those are Christmas colors. I'm trying to get out of that. Anyway, this and this together is kind of weird, but I sort of really love it. <laughs> so what, what you can do with the collar, it's so fun. What do you guys think? Okay, here's a bonus last look. I think, I didn't really count, but I think this is more than five, but that's okay. I am here to share ideas and I had this idea, so I just wanted to make sure that I shared it at the end. Just putting this chore jacket on over my last top that I had, the black top, and making it kind of more winter appropriate with a cap and kept on the boots. And I feel like I'm still ready for winter, which is appropriate because it is winter. So that's it. That's my looks for today. Uh, if you like what you see and you're having fun with me, I'm having fun. I know I've said that before, but it's still true, which is awesome. Subscribe and we will grow this fun channel together. How we can wear our clothes a lot of different ways and make the most out of our closet. Jasmine, Girl Thrifted, subscribe below. I'll see you soon.